This is a really disturbing story. Police in Arizona obtaining DNA from male employees at a nursing home after a woman who has been in a coma for a decade gives birth. CNN's Sarah Seidner is live in Phoenix with all of the details. Oh, my God, Sarah. That is just basically the way to describe this. It is absolutely horrifying. That's the way that Hacienda healthcare officials describe this. The family says they are traumatized and they are trying to get through this. But there are still a lot of details that people who have patients that are inside of this facility want to know that have not yet been answered. And they want answered and they want them now. A stunning revelation at a health care facility in Phoenix. The San Carlos Apache tribe said one of its members, a 29-year-old woman living in a vegetative state for more than a decade, was impregnated and had a baby while in the care of Hacienda Healthcare. Legal analyst and attorney Brian Claypool says there is only one explanation for what happened. If the woman in Phoenix was in a vegetative state and she gave birth to a child, then she was raped because she could not have consented to a sexual relation. Karina Sessinum, whose 22-year-old daughter is also a patient living at the facility, says she and another mother panicked when they heard about the case. We were just so scared because who knows what would happen if it was a staff member, if it was a family member, if it was a stranger. We have no idea. Cessna's daughter is unable to walk and barely able to talk after suffering brain damage, leaving her extremely vulnerable. What did you decide to do personally to make sure your daughter who's inside is safe? I stay here 24-7 now to make sure that she's in a safe environment as well and just move forward because trust has been severely broken. As for the company CEO, Bill Timmons, he resigned earlier this week, and Hacienda Healthcare's board sent out a statement calling what happened an absolutely horrifying situation and an unprecedented case without giving specifics of the case. CNN witnessed several police cruisers stationed at the facility during the day, and Phoenix police say they are investigating, but have offered no additional details about the case. Then on Tuesday, Hacienda Healthcare sent this statement saying police served a search warrant to obtain DNA from male staffers. The company said it welcomed the development in the investigation, yeah, but Cessna says the healthcare company didn't even inform the families of other patients at the facility about the incident until about five days after the birth and only after local news reports exposed the situation. I think that there's an underlying blanket somewhere that they're trying to hide under, you know, instead of being transparent, they're not being very transparent at all. Again, there are so many questions that people want answers to. We did get a chance to hear from the attorney for the family. Uh, the family is not talking at this time, too traumatized to talk. Uh, however, they said that a baby boy was born and that that boy was born into a loving family and will be cared for. John, Allison. I don't know what to say. There's nothing we can say. Sarah, thank you very much yeah. for that reporting.